Hi, this is VSG Barbie, and I am uh, getting all I'm cozy all in my bed. I'm back in my dorm room. Um, my lighting kind of sucks, but anyway, my lighting's always off. So anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, I have posted a whole bunch of videos, and the most recent videos um, were of the sleep study. And then I just posted one update of what I'm going through. I had one more video I was going to post, but I decided not to post it because um, I had a lot of cussing in that video <laughs> and a lot of crying. And I was just, at my, I was at a really um, low part of my journey at that point. And I, I, I wouldn't say I, I'm not at that point now, but I'm a little bit higher than I was. Um, I was on the verge of giving up. I'm still trying not to give up, but it's hard. And honestly, it's really scary to take all your money, go to Mexico, have surgery and, um, and, and then know you're going to be okay. Um, you're, you're at a risk here in the United States, but it's, I wouldn't, the surgery is not cheaper, but if your insurance pays for it, most likely you won't have to even come out of your pocket for anything or for a little of nothing. But going over there, um, they have a special in Tijuana right now, not at a lighter me, it's um, at weight, weight loss agents for uh, 3500 Uh, well, well, not 3500 Um, I think with adding some other stuff, it was like 3499 excuse me, yeah, it was 3499 not 3500 um, so, basically all that will cover is they, um, my travel expenses when I get to Tijuana and my hotel and my hospital stay, food and surgery and that's good like that's some that's super cheap for all of that um only thing i'll probably have, i'll have to come out kind of out of my pocket with uh well i gotta come in the pocket with that but other than you know the three uh the the special um i would have to pay for a passport because mine is lost and it's um it, it's lost and needs to be renewed anyway and then I'll have to pay for my mom to come with me. I don't know if my sister could come because she has a baby. Um, but I will have to, unless the baby stays somewhere else. But I have to pay for my mom and my sister if my sister decides to come. And um, they, I think it's like an extra 80-something dollars for them to stay at the hotel. Something like that. I guess food, I hope food is included. I'm going to make sure I ask. Um... And then travel money, you know, just for souvenirs, probably buy like a shirt or something in those little, I forgot what they call, but you shake them. You know what I'm talking about? I, I don't, I don't know what they're called. I totally forgot. And a sombrero, cause those are awesome. So I'll probably, <laughs> I'll probably get like some, um, uh, souvenirs. Oh, someone's calling me just one sec. Sorry about that. Oh my gosh. I'm finna get off key right now. I just had a call from my mom. And yes, I'm in school. And I'll get to that in a second. Um, but she was saying how you know, she used to really focus on school, really focus on school. And I get it. Education is a must. But what people don't understand is your health is just as important as education. Because if you are in bad health you're not going to get an education. You're going to be in somebody's hospital or somebody's grave. Okay. So yes, my education is really important. Yes, I'm going to class. Yes, I'm going to study. But I have so much going on with me right now. I have work. I have my business. I have school. I have health related issues. I'm trying to get approved for surgery. It is so much bullshit piling up on my plate at one damn time and it is fucking exhausting 
I'm gonna try not to cuss in this video, but it is so exhausting. And people don't understand that I got a lot of balls I'm juggling in the air and I can't drop none of them. None of them. I have no help. I cannot drop any of them. And I keep telling her, yeah, I, I get what you're saying, but if I mess around and have a stroke or a heart attack, I'm not gonna be at school. I'm gonna be in a hospital or dead. So surgery is very important because if I don't get surgery, I'm not going to make it here. It's already hard enough walking to class and walking back to my room. Like I'm on a thin ass line. Like I'm walking. I have to walk like several blocks to get to my to main campus because my dormitory is far off. So I used to be able to walk this walk with no problem. But every year it's getting, every semester it's getting harder and harder. And I don't think she understands at all. But, you know, I mean, she just now kind of accepted the fact that I'm having surgery. You know, she wasn't my number one cheerleader. She was like my number one hater. <laughs> and I think it was because she didn't understand or, or, or felt that it was going to harm me. But it's. It's it's either I do something about it or I get bigger because I've tried to diet. I've tried to lose weight on my own. I need a tool. I need something to help me. And um, my previous video, I was talking about how the nurse, um, I believe, lost my paperwork. So what I'm doing tomorrow is tomorrow I'm going to the um, infirmary here at school. And I'm getting tested for diabetes because the signs are there. And if you're diabetic and you're watching this, please like, um, you know, email me, message me something to kind of give me um, your experience as a diabetic because I have diabetes that runs in my family. My grandfather has it. I believe my other, both of my, I think both of my, no, my grandfather has it, yes. And my cousin has it, um, but I don't think that really what matter if my cousin has it but my grandfather does has it my mom's dad and on my dad's side um my grandfather is on a breathing machine and a CPAP and he has heart uh, related problems and um they run in my family cancer runs in my family I have a lot of risk that runs in my family so me being 368 pounds is no joke I'm like a walking core morbid like do I have these serious problems no not now but who knows when they'll start my chest pains are getting horrible it's getting hard to breathe and I don't know if I need to be on oxygen or what but it's getting hard to breathe like I don't have if I don't have the air on I can't breathe like right now it's hard to breathe and it's scaring me because I never really had these issues so it's definitely um I have to be ele elevated. My whole body has to be elevated. I have to put like a couple of pillows behind my back to push me up or I can't breathe. It, it's it's getting serious. And my mom's like, are you just looking for something to get you surgery? And I'm like, no, I'm not. Like, I feel my body breaking down. And you as a person know when your body's breaking down. You feel it. I don't feel like I don't feel how I used to feel anymore. I like you can see the bags under my eyes. Like I'm 20 years old. I shouldn't have bags under my eyes. Like I don't work like I work online. My business is online. So I work from home and I work every now and then. So it's not like I'm at a nine to five job all the time stressing myself out. I shouldn't have bags under my eyes. I have bags under my eyes, not because I'm stressed, because I can't sleep. I'm not sleeping. I have a sleep disorder, which I have to go back for another sleep test, which I'll film that when I go. I have to go back for another one um, at the end of this month because I just got uh, my hair done. You probably can't see it, but I'll film another video of my hair down and everything. I just got my hair done. I'm not, I'm not getting my nails done, but I just got my hair done. So, uh, I didn't know I was getting another sleep test issued out to me. So with the rules, you can't have nails, which I had nails, but they allowed me to, cause it was a pink polish, but you cannot have, um, your hair done. 
and my hair is done and it's freshly done. I got just got it done like Sunday and today's Tuesday. So I told him, hey, I can't come in the 11th. I can't afford to take my hair down and then put it back up. I can't afford that. So I got extensions. And if you wear extensions, you know how expensive they are. So um, he told me that I can do it at the end of this month. I said, okay, because my extensions will be about time for them to come out. And so I'll be cool with that. <gasps> I get my money's worth and I'll just put it back in after. Um, so yeah, tomorrow I'm going to the infirmary to get tested for diabetes. Um, I'm going to ask my doctor to retest me because they won't give me my test results and I don't trust her. So I'm going to ask my doctor to retest me for like high, um, not high blood pressure, but, um, um, what am I talking like uh high cholesterol things that most overweight people have and um yeah I'll take it from there and if I'm not approved um I know you I don't know how many times you can try to get approved but I'll try again I know you have to like wait a couple of months so I'll try again but um if I'm not approved I'm probably just gonna go ahead and go to uh, Tijuana. Yes, I'm like totally scared because I don't want to get botched. You know, people like say, you know, you could get botched because you, I don't, I've never, I didn't grow up in Tijuana. I didn't grow up in Mexico. So therefore I don't understand their health, their healthcare system and how their doctors and how their health system works. A lot of, a lot of me is really nice. I really like them. I have very good, um, I've heard very good feedback off them. I might just stick with them. Besides trying to go the cheaper route, I might just stick with a lighter me. Um, they're a little bit more expensive than the other people, but we'll see how it all goes, how it all plays out. Um, if I go with the weight loss agents, they told me um, I only have, I was already approved. I need to save my date, which will be $250 to save my date. Um, I pay three hundred. I'm sorry, uh, three thousand nine hundred ninety nine for the surgery for them to pick me up in Tijuana for the hotel stay, the full package deal. Um, so basically, the extra money would be for my passport or passport card, uh, hotel stay for my people, and uh, going back home from San Diego I don't know if we will fly or if we will um if we will fly I don't think I can fly because I had surgery I think I would have to be in the car but I don't know how long that is in a rock and I don't know how long that is so oh we'll have to figure that out ourselves so I'm looking at overall hmm <laughs> Maybe 5000 for all of it together. Maybe. You got to put in gas and things like that if we're driving or plane or however we're going to do it. So maybe 5000 I don't know. Um, but I told my mom if she gives me two, that I can come up with the other. I think that would be 1999 I can come up with that myself. And... um That'd be to cover the surgery. Bam. The only thing I'll have to focus on is hotel stuff and getting there and passport. So, yeah. I can do that stuff in advance because my mom's getting taxes. So she said that she would help if I'm, a, if I am, if I'm not approved. But I just got the phone with her and she's like, you're going to get approved. Calm down. There's not, like, when you have somebody constantly telling you that you're not going to get approved or not giving you, like, a pat on the back and giving you support, you get nervous as hell. Like, I know you guys understand this. Like, I've seen lots of videos of people that got approved, didn't get approved, and it's a scary-ass process. We put ourselves out there. We do all this crap, and then people say, by the way, you're not approved. Really? But if I go to the... Um, infirmary tomorrow when I go and she tells me I have diabetes that woman needs to get fired um, at the doctor's office not not the infirmary but the other doctor's office I'm having my surgery at because 
like I drink so much like um I don't know if you can see that let me see uh, you probably can't see that I'm gonna go get it this is my little refrigerator okay all these are probably gonna be gone by tomorrow Ooh. I don't know if you can see that but I have three milks right there and all of them are going to be gone by the end of this week this cup sorry I'm thirsty I can drink probably four or five of those just in like two or three hours those big canteens, you know, the ones you hold, like, those big giant mugs. I drink one. I could probably drink, like, three or four in one day. Either I'm dehydrated as hell or I got diabetes. I Like, a lady today out of, um, she go, used to go to the same doctor at my PCP that I go to. And she was telling me that she got diagnosed with diabetes. And she's really small. And she said, she told her PCP that she's not going to take insulin she's going to lose weight uh, I don't want diabetes because like you can like get your limbs and stuff cut off and that's scary as hell and you can die uh, if you don't manage it but I swear I think I got diabetes I get tingling and numbness in my feet I pee all day every day I go through tissue I go through one roll in like two days by myself because I pee all day, every day, all day, every day. I drink so much. Like I would rather sit up and drink instead of eat. And I know that sounds crazy because I got an eating disorder, but because I be so thirsty, you know, your stomach is only so big. I would rather drink and drink. I like drink, 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 then eat. I drink all my drink before I eat. Because I'm so thirsty. Um, I'm never I, I, I'm never satisfied when it comes down to, to, to drinking. So either I'm dehydrated as hell. Or I got diabetes. And nobody's telling me. But we're going to find out tomorrow, girl. Mm-hmm. Because either I, either I need to be admitted somewhere and get some, some pumped in me or something's wrong. Nobody should be that thirsty. And this has been happening for about a couple of months now. This has been happening. Me drinking like this has been happening. This has been happening for like. This has been happening for the longest. Like for about almost a year. No. Not a year. I would say since. Did I drink a lot over there? No. Because I, I used to put drink by my bed. But I wouldn't. I would say this has been happening for about four or five months. A little bit longer than that. So we'll see. I'm thirsty now. I'll hit y'all later. Bye bye. I'm out.